All right. Uh, this is Draw Attention. My name is Eric. That is Kyle. If you don't know us, you probably should. This is what we do. We make whiteboards and blackboards for laptops. That's literally it. That's, I could just finish right now. I could be done. We could all go have beer. But I want to tell you the story. In tw November 2014, Kyle posted on Facebook. He posted this first prototype. And he said, I can make the site. I'm a developer. I don't know how to write the copy. Eric, can you write the copy? I wrote the copy. We had a site up and running in 10 hours for 13 bucks. We spent on a domain name. It was on GitHub pages. We used, a, we used PayPal and Square to create the cart. And we were off and selling. We had a sale in the first 10 hours. A little, little bit later, <laughs> a little bit later, Kyle went and spoke at uh, Startup, Startup Weekend Peoria, because he's a Startup Weekend leader, and their speaker dropped out on him. So he talked about this story, this very same thing. In fact, you can see it in the bottom right there. There's the first prototype. And someone posted it to Product Hunt. We're still pissed about this, because it says a whiteboard for you laptop lid, and we're not allowed to correct the typo. That product, that product hunt listing got him up at about 2 a.m. in the middle of the night because his friend of his from Netherlands was saying, dude, you're blowing up on product hunt. And then something like this happened. This was literally an interview we did during Dallas Startup Week at um, Fort Work, which is really amazing. So GeekWire came down. They thought this Dallas Startup Week thing was cool. Fiona routed them around to us, and we really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Uh, so that happened. Uh, cool, cool Hunting picked us up. PSFK picked us up. A uh, number of different companies, picked up, or really cool sites, picked us up that we were, like, freaking out about. Uh, we've since done a sale on Touch of Modern. We've been featured on a number of different really awesome sites that, sit, like, have things I wanted before. And then these guys did an interview with us at South by Southwest, where he said that he's the pancakes to my syrup, and I believe it. <laughs> We're now uh, in this thing called the 1000 Club, one of the 500 products that have 1,000 votes on product hunt. Yeah. We're right in between Pix8 and Icon Store, in case you want to look for us. So these are some of the companies that have bought things from us. <laughs> Um, we, LegalZoom's a really cool story. The CMO contacted us. She's like, can we have 40 from my entire marketing team? We, we said yes. So <laughs> uh, we're really excited about that. Khan Academy is even cooler because Khan Academy is, use, is literally getting blackboards because they do digital blackboards. It's the coolest thing ever. So we want to tell you that we built a real business on a really, really, really small budget, and you can too. That's really one of the reasons that we run this company in the first place. So what's coming up? More, more community, more scale, more boards. We sponsored the Denton Mini Maker Fair, which was really great. We had a table there. We were showing off the boards, our printer, as well as some other cool stuff that we were working on. We made a t-shirt. We made the Open Coffee Club t-shirt, opencoffeeclub.co. And then we got boards, so we made another t-shirt. This is for a startup in Denton called Cubos. Cubos makes an operating system for satellites. They're literally sending stuff to space. We thought that was cool, so we made another t-shirt about that. If you go to send stuff to space, send stuff to dot space, you can get this t-shirt. Or he's got some, and we brought t-shirts. If you'd like to buy t-shirts, we are literally selling t-shirts right now. We are shameless. What's next? We are doing printed whiteboards. So we're putting designs on whiteboards. You want to put your logo on the whiteboard? Cool, we can put your logo on the whiteboard. You want to put your art on the whiteboard? We can put your art on the whiteboard. You want to buy someone else's art on the whiteboard? We can buy someone else's art on the whiteboard. That's where we're headed next. And what's even cooler is we're working now with a company called Work From. Work From lists where you can work from, and they're literally All curating right. their customers for us. Awesome. Who do you partner with, or where do you manufacture the product? Everything we say here in Denton. <laughs> we, we make it. We make it here, because where I am is Denton. Wherever I go, I take it with me. We make it all in Denton. That net, we will attempt to keep it that way. So, so I have a, uh, a draw attention board on my laptop, and I love it. And we like you. Uh, thank you. Yes. Yeah, I like you, too. You're pretty cool. And I'm wearing your shirt. Woo! Um, You're the best branding ever. Question, when, when am I getting a protective sleeve for my laptop so that my, my uh, whiteboard marker won't rub off in my computer case? 
It's a whiteboard. It rubs off. Like, we, 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 I think that's really a good story. With the product, why it's successful, is because of some of the things we don't do. We don't give you a marker, because it ups our cost. We don't send you a white, an eraser, because it ups our cost. So it's a whiteboard. I think if you spray hairspray on it, that'll protect it. You can do that. <laughs> or you can get a, use a Sharpie. It'll work once. Uh, if I want to print, like have you guys print something on like my brand or whatever, like, how many do I have to do? Can I, I'm, we're a startup, so we would need like five, but you know, do we have to order like a hundred or how does that even get started? Yeah, so we're trying to fool around with the quantity and pricing model, but I think we're, what we're seeing the break point right now is about 50, but we're trying to work that down. So actually, if you want that, come talk to us and we'll see if we can make it happen. <laughs> Working on it. Harder, but yes. That's potentially doable too, but we like the money also. <laughs> what, what about like celebrity? If, uh, if could you have a licensing deal where you could put like Kanye's face on it or or Kim Kardashian, and you guys work out some kind of a, a profit share together? Can we put Winston's face on it? Are we allowed to do that? So how do you handle the size of the? The whiteboard. Good yeah. question. So we've standardized based on monitor size. So basically it's 11 inch, 13 inch, 15 inch. The Microsoft Surface is a little bit weird. So we have the 11 inch Surface and the 13 inch Surface. Yep. Uh, I've got two questions. Where are you looking to expand outside of uh, computers? And it looks like you also had phones. And then the second question is, what are you looking for? First question would probably be uh, tablets is up next. So either inside your tablet cover or on the back of your tablet. Tablets are weird because you have cameras and other speakers and things and we've got to work around. Um, where, what are we looking trying to do next? We are going to be scaling the company. We're still working on exactly what that plan is, but you see some of the product designs we've got in place. What we need is more exposure, believe it or not. It always helps. Um, and then also we need help with manufacturing and fulfillment. Those are our two core problems with the business right now, if you could say there's problems. You do t-shirts and whiteboards. How come you haven't combined them? I would, I would do like a whiteboard t-shirt. Believe me, I'm looking at that too. Yeah. Another good question. So standard pricing is about a dollar per square inch, or per diagonal inch. So 11 inch, $11. Um, that's the same for the whiteboards and the blackboards. Right now the pricing model is looking like five bucks per piece additional for the printing. So I'm assuming you have a patent, just like whiteboard and blackboard on a computer screen? Or? So that's funny, yeah. Um, it's a giant sticker. Yeah. <laughs> so um, we, we would much rather build a really giant, awesome brand um, than, than waste our money on a, well, I wouldn't say waste, but sink a lot of time and resources into a patent. Is, that vi is it vinyl? Is that what? Yes. Actually, the newest one we come out with uh, is what's called air release vinyl. So they use it on when they wrap cars as well. So the bubbles, you can actually smooth them out, which is really, really cool. Any more questions? It's wow. too easy. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Come buy some t-shirts.